Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening, I'm Scott Beadle with Big Fox News. The president of Watkins Glen International hopes to become a politician. Michael Printup says he'll run as a Republican for the 4th District in the Chemung County Legislature. Printup says his job at WGI would not affect his ability to serve the community if he is elected. He goes up against incumbent Joe Brennan, who's seeking his fourth term. The 2018 federal primary election is on June 26th, and if you're planning to vote, you do need to register by this Friday if you haven't already. Shimon, Stuban, and Schuyler are all part of New York's 29th Congressional District. There's a federal primary, uh, and in this district, in this congressional district, there will be a Democratic primary. Um, so to be able to vote in this primary, you need to be a registered Democrat. This June 1st is the last day for new people to register to be able to vote in the Democratic primary. So if you're thinking about registering as a Democrat, this is the time to do it. So this is just for Congress. There's no primary for U.S. Senator. It's Senator Gillibrand is up this year, but no one is primarying her. So, th so this is just for federal. In September, there'll be local primaries and state primaries. Well, that's their basic right, and if, you know, you really can't complain about things if you don't get out and vote. The line to register is this Friday. You can register to vote by heading to your local board of elections or any state agency participating in the National Voter Registration Act. Now, if you're planning on mailing your registration application, it can't be received by the board any later than June 6th. It must be postmarked no later than June the 1st. Work to replace the East Avenue Bridge in Elmira begins tomorrow. Local traffic will be detoured by way of Sullivan Street to Lake Road. The $1.9 million project involves demolishing the existing four-span bridge and replacing it with a modern two-span steel structure. Officials think the new bridge will improve the safety of travelers on Interstate 86, as well as reducing the maintenance costs. The bridge is expected to reopen in November. We're coming off a warm, muggy day across the Twin Tiers. Chief Meteorologist Chris Summers lets us know what to expect for the rest of the week. That's next in his Big Fox forecast. Here's your local stock market update from Big Fox. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. And welcome back, everyone. Another warm one across our area today with our highs in the upper 80s to near 90 uh, for much of the Twin Tiers. 90 degrees up in Watkins Glen late this afternoon, 87 to Wanda, 86 degrees in Mansfield, 89 over in Corning, 88 degrees in Elmira, and 86 degrees in Ithaca. Temperatures over the next couple days still going to stay warm, but have some chance of rain coming back as we get into your Thursday afternoon. So mar uh, partly to mainly cloudy skies, we get our Thursday started, but then temperatures are going to drop just a few degrees. We're still going to be the 80s, though, but not quite as warm as we were today. It could be a few showers or thunderstorms around as we head to Thursday afternoon. Going to keep that chance of rain around on Friday. Maybe some heavy rain from time to time, but then temperatures warm back up. Once again, we get back into the mid to upper 80s as we head into the afternoon hours of our Friday. But right now, weekend looking pretty good temperature wise. I think we'll be back in the 70s in most areas on both Saturday and Sunday, but could see a few more rain showers around, especially by the time we get to Sunday, and that may last into early on Monday. Here's what it looks like in the forecast map. Yeah, some rain moving back into parts of the Twin Tiers area. Scattered showers and thunderstorms across the area as we head into the day on our Thursday. Warm weather kind of gets pushed out of our region, at least for a little while anyway. We'll still be in the 80s though as we head into the afternoon hours of our Thursday, but then right back in the mid to upper 80s with more rain chances by the time we head to Friday, which is the first day of June. Here's your seven day forecast and yeah, showing those warm temperatures hanging around the next couple of days. And you want 82 degrees of high temperature as we head into the day. On our Thursday, we'll see those temperatures stay in the low to mid 80s. Again, that rain chance on Thursday afternoon, 86 as we head into our Friday. Temperatures staying warm even on Friday afternoon. By the time we get to Saturday, 75. Clouds do break up a little bit, so actually looking pretty good as we get into the weekend. Another chance of rain returning on Sunday, though, 76 degrees, the high temperature. Maybe back to the upper 70s 
on Monday, but looking like really some pretty pleasant weather for the early part of next week as our temperatures will stay in the upper 70s or maybe even mid 70s by Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. So overall, after a couple of warm days here in the next couple of days, looking pretty good uh, through the weekend and early next week. Hey, we'll take some 70s. Yeah, 70s Nothing feel, wrong with that. Feel real good and after seeing these temperatures close to 90 today. We'll enjoy those 70s. Oh yeah, that'll be nice. Mm -hmm. The dog in Maine was captured on video showing a little bit of love to the firefighter who helped him out of a rough spot. Police in Wells, Maine said a dog named Jasper was stuck on the roof of his home after managing to get through an upstairs window. Several people called police and one person even stood by Jasper until help arrived. <laughs> Captain Jeff Knopfel was trying his best to get the pup back inside, but he kind of wanted to keep pacing on the roof. Jasper eventually did walk over and planted a grateful kiss on his rescuer and Knopfel was able to move the pup safely back he's inside. Just, well, he, that pup's just happy to see someone up there enjoying the roof with him. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on Big Fox News. Have a great night.